A linear array transducer with a Venus exam type is used to perform an ultrasound-guided insertion of an internal jugular catheter via a transverse approach. The patient is in a supine position with the head slightly turned toward the contralateral side. The operator is positioned at the head of the bed. The transducer is placed transversely just below the apex of the sternocleidomastoid muscle triangle with the orientation marker directed to the patient's left at a 9 o'clock position. The most superficial structure identified in the ultrasound image is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. Deeper to this, the internal jugular vein will appear as a dark, anechoic elliptical shape and is compressible with transducer pressure. The artery will be circular and pulsatile. The thyroid gland lies medial to these structures and has a light gray echo signature. Adjust the transducer so it is centered over the internal jugular vein. Follow the needle entry by slowly sliding the transducer in the direction of needle advancement. The needle will appear as a small, bright, hyperechoic dot. When the needle tip appears, the transducer should be advanced a short distance distally to follow the tip of the needle trajectory and stay in advance of the needle entry. The needle is slowly advanced under direct ultrasound visualization until the tip is seen to indent and then puncture the internal jugular vein. The transducer should be moved slightly proximally and distally to confirm that the needle tip lies in the mid-portion of the jugular vein.